your business runs on software. You rely on your software to be available and resilient. That's why you invest in technical monitoring for logs, metrics, traces, and real user data. What most organizations don't do well is extracting business information, business insights from that existing technical observability data we have. Instead, many organizations are building up a silo for business observability, sending the same data into other backends where it's analyzed in isolation, not in context. So when there is a technical issue, you don't know whether this impacts the business. Or if you have a business issue, you don't really know whether the root cause is a technical problem or maybe because your business offerings to your end users are no longer interesting. So let me show you a reference implementation from Dynatrace and how we can solve this problem. What you see here is on the Dynatrace Playground tenant. We're using the AstroShop demo application from Open Telemetry. This is an e-commerce uh, scenario, but everything you see today, you can also apply it to any other type of industry. Uh, the point here is, right, we are extracting business information from the technical data we have when we monitor our backend services, our order service, our payment service. Um, our recommendation service. We have logs, metrics, and traces. We can extract business data. And that's what we do here. So you can see here a dashboard that shows me as a business owner, how are we doing in terms of order volume? Are people buying as expected? What's the revenue? So this is all information we get in real time to the business owners to show you whether you're meeting your business objectives. You can see that we can even drill further. Uh, order volume by country, revenue by country, top product categories, uh, top product revenue. So we can get this information for you in real time because your engineers also have real time data about what's happening in your system. Now the question is, if something is wrong, what do you do? Who do you call? In our case, if I scroll down to um, the section on the bottom, we automatically highlight any technical issues that Dynatrace detected that is impacting your business and we also give you technical root cause drill then. And obviously, we always give you order loss information as well so you can better judge on how critical this problem is. Very bottom, we also want to make sure that your key service level objectives around user conversion, availability and performance is also met. It seems there's a lot of red here. Dynatrace detected the problem so now I want to show you how as a business owner you would go about this. So the first thing I want to highlight is I want to open up a technical problem. So as you are handing things over, Dynatrace gives you the ability and um, gives you a problem ticket that contains the impact information. So on the top you see how many services are impacted. For a business owner, very important is probably the number of affected users. So how many users are currently impacted by the problem. This allows you to understand how risky this is and what the priority should be. Now, the handoff to the technical owners is now the technical folks will see where does this problem really originate. And this really seems to be a technical problem on the AstroShop payment app where we have a high server failure rate increase. And with a single button, analyze failures, the engineers can then look into the actual problems. They get to see which endpoint has the issue. It's the charge endpoint of the Astro Shop payment. They automatically get the logs. But the nice thing is with a single click here, you can see it here, they can even drill to the distributed traces. Now, this might be too technical for you if you're a business owner, but believe me, your technical folks, they will love to see this information. They need this information to fix the problem because it points them to the line of code uh, where their issue is that is impacting your business. And not only the line of code, logs are very important, so we also always have all of the logs available. Now, let me go back uh, to this particular dashboard. If I'm back on the dashboard, um, we have your business information on the top. We have the connection to the technical problems. And uh, for um, folks that want to do a little shortcut, we also highlighted here a direct link to the technical root cause. So if the technical root cause can be seen on a trace, like I had before, right? Here we go, we directly get again to a problem that uh, happens in the checkout process where this particular uh, checkout failed with an HTTP 500, meaning throwing an error back to your user. We have all of the information here, again, ready for your developers. All right. Uh, last but not least, uh, let me go back to this problem again. Now, um, 
you want to make sure obviously the problems don't happen again so once problems are fixed you want to make sure they stay fixed if they happen again we also make it very easy for engineers to um, you know make the remediation easier by looking at previous uh, examples of a similar problem so what we do here in the problem ticket we automatically highlight whether there have been any previous instances of a similar problem so we automatically highlight troubleshooting guys that have been created i can click on view notebook and then the notebook opens up for me and it seems when this problem happened the first time uh, this was back in june um, somebody that was actually triaging the problem already identified there was a failure rate increase uh, it went with an order volume drop so again connecting technical information with business information and then how they troubleshooted everything all right so we are from a Dynatrace perspective we really believe that we don't lack on the uh, amount of data we have we have a lot of logs metrics and traces I think what we lack is extracting business relevant information out of it and then connecting with this business and technical root causes what you see here is based on the open telemetry astroshop application that we're running on the playground feel free to explore this dashboard see what's behind the scenes um, click around analyze problems and then if you want to implement this yourself you know take these uh, dashboards uh, and notebooks as a reference uh, but also reach out to us or leave a comment on the video thank you